Welcome to Academic Game Tutorials. In today's class we are going to learn in details about manufacturing industries and products. There will be detailed discussion on manufacturing industries, manufactured products, production quantity and product variety. We are studying introduction and overview of manufacturing. We will cover all related topics one by one. Before starting, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, just click on subscribe and press the bell icon. Here, we come up with new videos on different subjects to make the academic studies easier for you. So, into the topic. Manufacturing is an important commercial activity performed by companies that sell products to customers. The type of manufacturing done by a company depends on the kinds of products it makes. Manufacturing industries industry consists of enterprises and organizations that produce or supply goods and services. Industries can be classified as primary, secondary, or tertiary. Primary industries cultivate and exploit natural resources, such as agriculture and mining. Secondary industries take the outputs of the primary industries and convert them into consumer and capital goods. Manufacturing is the principal activity in this category, but construction and power utilities are also included. Tertiary industries constitute the service sector of the economy. A list of specific industries in these categories is presented in this table. When we discuss about manufacturing in our classes, it means production of hardware, which ranges from nuts and bolts to digital computers and military weapons. Plastic and ceramic products are included, but apparel, paper, pharmaceuticals, power utilities, publishing, and wood products are excluded in case of our discussion. Manufactured products. Final products made by the manufacturing industries can be divided into two major classes, consumer goods and capital goods. Consumer goods are products purchased directly by consumers, such as cars, personal computers, TVs, tires, and tennis rackets. Capital goods are those purchased by companies to produce goods and or provide services. Examples of capital goods include aircraft, computers, communication equipment, medical apparatus, trucks and buses, railroad locomotives, machine tools, and construction equipment. Most of these capital goods are purchased by the service industries. It was noted in the introduction that manufacturing accounts for about 12% of gross domestic product and services about 75% of GDP in the United States. Yet the manufactured capital goods purchased by the service sector are the enablers of that sector. Without the capital goods, the service industries could not function. In addition to final products, other manufactured items include the materials, components, tools, and supplies used by the companies that make the final products. Examples of these items include sheet steel, bar stock, metal stampings, machine parts, plastic moldings and extrusions, cutting tools, dyes, molds, and lubricants. Thus, the manufacturing industries consist of a complex infrastructure with various categories and layers of intermediate suppliers with whom the final consumer never deals. Production Quantity and Product Variety The quantity of products made by a factory has an important influence on the way its people, facilities, and procedures are organized. Annual production quantities can be classified into three ranges. Low production, which includes quantities in the range 1 to 100 units per year. Medium production, which ranges from 100 to 10,000 units annually, and high production, ranging from 10,000 to millions of units. The boundaries between the three ranges are somewhat arbitrary. Depending on the kinds of products, these boundaries may shift by an order of magnitude also. Production quantity refers to the number of units produced annually of a particular product type. Some plants produce a variety of different product types, each type being made in low or medium quantities. Other plants specialize in high production of only one product type. It is instructive to identify product variety as a parameter distinct from production quantity. Product variety refers to different product designs or types that are produced in the plant. Different products have different shapes and sizes. They perform different functions, they are intended for different markets, some have more components than others, and so forth. 
the number of different product types made each year can be counted. When the number of product types made in the factory is high, this indicates high product variety. There is an inverse correlation between product variety and production quantity in terms of factory operations. If a factory's product variety is high, then its production quantity is likely to be low, but if production quantity is high, then product variety will be low, as depicted in this figure. Manufacturing plants tend to specialize in a combination of production quantity and product variety that lies somewhere inside the diagonal band in this figure. Although product variety has been identified as a quantitative parameter, the number of different product types made by the plant or company, this parameter is much less exact than production quantity because details on how much the designs differ are not captured simply by the number of different designs. Differences between an automobile and an air conditioner are far greater than between an air conditioner and a heat pump. Within each product type, there are differences among specific models. The extent of the product differences may be small or great, as illustrated in the automotive industry. Each of the U.S. automotive companies produces cars with two or three different nameplates in the same assembly plant, although the body styles and other design features are virtually the same. In different plants, the company builds heavy trucks. The terms soft and hard might be used to describe these differences in product variety. Soft product variety occurs when there are only small differences among products, such as the differences among car models made on the same production line. In an assembled product, soft variety is characterized by a high proportion of common parts among the models. Hard product variety occurs when the products differ substantially, and there are few common parts, if any. The difference between a car and a truck exemplifies hard variety. So, we have studied in details, about manufacturing industries and products, including discussion on manufacturing industries, manufactured products, production quantity and product variety. Thank you.